Hi, my name is Stuart J. Murphy. I'm the author of the Math Start series. Math Start has a total of 63 books that teach mathematical concepts in the context of stories. This year is an election year. Elections are really important, and it's good to know how they work. And because of that, I wrote a book called The Grizzly Gazette. It's about an election at a camp, and it's lots of fun to read. I'm going to be reading it to you today. The Grizzly Gazette, written and read by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Steve Bjorkman, and read with the permission of Harper Collins Publishing Company. I'd love to do it, said Corey. Do you really think I could win? It was Tuesday of the last week at Camp Grizzly. On Saturday, everyone would vote for the camp mascot. If Corey won, she would get to wear the famous grizzly bear costume and lead all 100 campers in the grizzly parade. And her photo would be displayed forever in the Grizzly Hall of Fame. Sure you can win, said Jacob. I'd love to be the grizzly bear, but Daniel and Sophie have already started their campaigns, said Corey. Daniel is really popular, Corey added, and Sophie belongs to the boat club. That's the biggest club at camp. Look at this article in the Grizzly Gazette. There was a poll in the Grizzly Gazette. The reporters wanted to see who was ahead. They asked all 100 campers how they planned to vote. Then they printed a circle graph to show how all, or 100%, of the campers felt. The Grizzly Gazette. Sophie and Daniel, neck and neck. 25 said they would vote for Sophie. That's 25%. 25 said they would vote for Daniel. That's 25%. 50 hadn't made up their minds. That is 50%. Don't worry, said Jacob. We haven't even started yet. Yeah, said Katie. Look at all those undecided votes. You still have a chance. Okay, said Corey. I'll do my best. On Wednesday, Corey announced that she was entering the race. Late that afternoon, the Grizzly Gazette ran another poll. Again, they asked the 100 campers how they planned to vote. The Grizzly Gazette. Corey enters the race. 40 said they would vote for Sophie. That's 40%. 30 said they would vote for Daniel. That's 30%. 10 said they would vote for Corey. That's 10%. And the remaining 20 hadn't made up their minds. That's 20%. 100% of Camp Squirrels prefer acorns to broccoli. We've got a long way to go, said Corey later that afternoon. But we're just getting started, said Jacob. You already have 10% of the vote, said Katie, in just one day. On Thursday, Daniel had flyers delivered to every camper. The boat club wore T-shirts with Sophie's name on them. Corey went around to all the cabins. She said hi to everybody. And she asked people what they really would like the mascot to do in the parade. On Friday, the Gazette printed one last poll. You've got more than 20%, said Katie. You're gaining on them, said Jacob. The Grizzly Gazette. Sophie holds the lead. 36 said they would vote for Sophie. That's 36%. 28 said they would vote for Daniel. That's 28%. 21 said they would vote for Corey. That's 21%. And 15 or 15% 15 hadn't made up their minds. 75% of Camp Rabbits would rather have carrot cake than chocolate shakes. On Saturday, Daniel gave out free candy bars. The boat club held a regatta for Sophie. And at the campfire that night, each candidate got a chance to make a speech. Vote for me, said Sophie. I can lead the parade in style. And she did a cartwheel right in front of everybody. Vote for me, said Daniel. Remember the candy bars. Then it was Corey's turn. Corey stood up. She was a little nervous but she spoke clearly. I asked a lot of you what you wanted the mascot to do in the parade, she said. And after I heard what you said, I decided to write a new camp cheer. Huh? said Daniel. Who cares about a cheer? said Sophie. All the members of the music club stood up and started playing their instruments, and Corey sang the new grizzly cheer. One, two, three, four. 
Listen to our grisly roar. Grr, grr, grr. The music club began marching round the campfire. One by one, the campers jumped up and got in line. Corey sang some more. Two, four, six, eight. The grizzly bears are really great. Grr, grr, grr. Soon everyone was marching and singing along. The election was Sunday. The Grizzly Gazette published a special edition as soon as the votes were counted. The Grizzly Gazette. Corey wins. 25 voted for Sophie. That's 25%. 25 voted for Daniel. And that's 25%. And 50 voted for Corey. That's 50%. 100% of camp critters like to eat popcorn while playing ping pong. Later that day, Corey put on her costume, gave big bear hugs to Jacob and Katie, marched to the front of the line, and led the whole camp, all 100%, in singing the new grizzly cheer. One, two, three, four, listen to our grizzly roar, grr, grr, grr. Two, four, six, eight, the grizzly bears are really great, grr, grr, grr. The grizzly bears, the grizzly bears, that's us. Thank you for listening to my story, The Grizzly Gazette. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you go to my website, you'll find that there are 62 additional Math Start books. And for every single book, there are activities that you can do at home or at school. Have a great day.